Hey guys, today I want to talk about how, um, why I chose civil engineering as my major. Uh, there's a lot of decisions that you have to do when you're choosing your career path because it's going to be what you're going to be doing for life, hopefully. You don't want to go to college and then, like, I don't know, work with something totally unrelated to what you studied for. Now, a lot of people, they know they want to be something, you know, like, like my dad, he knew he wanted to be a doctor. So he always wanted to be a doctor. He always studied for that. Some people, they go by what their family does. Like, for example, I don't know, if the dad is a mechanical, they will be mechanic, mechanics or something like that, you know? Uh, for me, it was a little different. For me, I didn't really have a passion for engineering in general. I mean, like, I had a passion for, like, math and stuff like that, but it wasn't like, it was more like an, an analytical approach on why I chose engineering. And I want to give you my thought process for choosing this career. Now, I have a lot of hobbies, like everybody. But some people have like one or two hobbies. I have a lot of hobbies, like a lot. Uh, I play a lot of video games. I, I, I like dancing. I like traveling. Uh, I like chess. I like poker. I like dominoes. I like a lot of stuff. So sometimes like my attention is kind of how I, I like programming. My attention might be a little hard to get. I like going to the gym, running, soccer, I, whatever. So the way I approach taking a career was basically as a what do I like? And this might help you for choosing a career too. What do I like? What is something related to that? And what choices do I just don't want? Like for example, for me, I always like drawing, always. And when I was in middle school, I was taking this technical drawing class. That it was basically with the big sheets and you know, with rulers and we would do basically kind of like plants, we would do plants. So that was one of the things that influenced my choice of civil engineering because I wanted to do buildings, I wanted to draw that. Now you draw everything with Revit and AutoCAD and it's kind of like, well, I didn't, I don't use any of this anymore. But I mean, that was one of the reasons. Another one was math, I like math a lot. So I, want, I, know, I knew for sure that I wanted to study something that had math. So when I was in high school, I was doing a technical high school and I was, it was like a programming high school. So I would learn like a lot of C++, Visual Basic, we would teach Java, I don't know, some programs like Dreamweaver. And we would play like with Lego Mindstorm and really cool stuff like that, which I really enjoyed. And it's funny because that was one of the factors when deciding my career. Like for example, when I went into college, my degree choices were basically math. Because I mean, I, like, I really like math. Uh, it was computer science because I always like computers, I was always there um, and it's something that I was very interested in when I was in high school all my friends are computer scientists, most of them and the other one was civil engineering, well structural engineering but like they didn't offer it around my college so civil engineering in this case because I like drawing and all that stuff, right? now the reason I didn't choose math was because well like what is going to be like my my job if I become a mathematician? Um, college? teacher, high school professor, I mean there's, it's very hard to find like a real math job and I don't want to work in school, you know, I mean not that I hate kids or anything but I want to, I don't know, I just didn't want to do that, I just didn't want to teach. Uh, it's very hard to have, find a job as a real mathematician and like do research and stuff like that. So that scratch that from my list. Then computer science is kind of funny because the reason I didn't choose computer science was because I didn't want to be on the computer the whole day. I wanted to draw and read and do other stuff. And it's funny because in my work right now as a civil engineer, like literally the whole day I'm in front of the computer drawing. So I'm like, well, damn it, I should have been a computer science maybe. And I do, I do think about that from time to time. Sometimes I think maybe I should do a master's degree in computer science or maybe I should get like a technical degree, an advanced degree or something like that in computer science. Because I still do it for fun, like sometimes I read like uh, about code, I have my account in GitHub, um, I learn how to, how to do websites, stuff like that, you know, I'm not like great, but I mean, I learn on my free time, macros and stuff like that, um, but it's funny because that was the deciding factor in choosing civil engineering, that I didn't want to be in the computer the whole time, and also I knew that civil engineering, or specifically structural, is like a more like a mixed type of work, like for example, like one day you are in 
you are solving problems, you know, just on the computer, nobody bothering you, and you have deadlines. Then the next day you go on, on, on site, you're walking, you know, in the roof or like a building, which is pretty cool if you ask me, you know, having that flexibility, having that, you know, we not all, all the same. You are constantly facing new stuff. The same thing, like for example, you all sometimes have meetings or paperwork, which is boring as hell, but I mean, it's still like a good rotation. You, you're, you're changing, you're not doing the same thing over and over and over and over. And like for example, like with computer science, you're always sitting on the computer, you're, that's everything you do all, all day, every day. There's no like, oh, I'm gonna go inspect something, I'm gonna go out for this, no. And uh, well, that's another thing that I like from civil engineering. There's so many types of structural, there's so many types of civil engineering that you can specialize as long as you know your basics. So for example, like if you're structural, you can do like, I don't know, product design. You can design beams, types of steel, alleations, you, for homeworks. You can also work for, I don't know, for N6. You can do more concrete design, more masonry design, more special, I don't know, like offshore design for like concrete or for with polymer or something like that. So it's very, very broad and that's something that, I mean, it's broad in other, in, in computer science and math too, well no, math not. Well yeah, I guess. In, in computer science it's very broad too, but it's still, you're also, the, you're always on the computer, you are not rotating. Like for example, I was, I remember I had this interview for a forensics job, and this guy was going roof and like, we would like be driving all day, and it was pretty cool, you know? And so I'm very glad that I chose civil engineering and those were my thought process. So for example, that's what you should do. Like just write down what you want to, what you, your possibilities and just scratch down what you don't feel like doing or I re do more research on what the actual job encompasses. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, uh, give me your opinions, give me your experiences, like let me know how you chose your degree and if you think it was a good choice. Have a good one guys, please subscribe.